subtraction with the hiccuping math teacher who is small. What are we subtracting today? Oh, today we are subtracting 368. 368. Um, we are subtracting actually 243 from 360. Oh, so these two rods were once upon, upon a time 30 because if you put five and five together and then put 20, that's 30. But once upon a time was once upon a time. God, and why are now you they're split up. Day? Is it on now? Yes. So we put these together just like we put this together. We can put that together to make a 10. But we won't do that. But we can put the fours together to make an eight. And now, if we take away the eight, and then um, we put it like that. And then we put it like that. Okay, I was going to demonstrate that if we line up these, find out what number, and then I'm going to show you how to take apart no, big numbers. No, I'm up. Okay, so on you know the what? number line, video, so try to be shushy. On, on the number line, we see that there's one missing. That's okay. And then, go like that. And then, we see that it's, let's take one of these two rods, let's, um, it's red okay. and little, and then you put this on the end, and you see that one, two, three, four, so it's 38. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how to take big numbers apart from the numbers. Let's say we have... How much is this? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 70. So if we can, we can prove that this is 70 because <coughs> this is 7, like that, like a bed. So the rest is 7. When you're writing it down, it's easier to go like 70 minus. Because, see, um, so we cross out the seven to make sure that everyone knows that we crossed it out, and we write a little six in the corner. And now we write ten here, so clearly it's ten. And now, and now. 10 minus 2. 10 minus 2. Let's pretend that we have an 8 and a 2. Now, if you combine these, what is it? It's 10. So now 10 minus 2 is clearly 8. And then 6 minus 4. Let's use this. Forget about the zeros. Six minus four. <coughs> so we look at that, and what's the space? It looks like the red one. Right? <laughs> so you put that on. And that's two. So six minus two is two. And then our answer. Write it down, things are more clear. Now that we know no, how to do it guys. both ways. So, oh. 8 minus 3, that number is 368. Is that so, 8 on top? Wait, let me see. I'll just put it here first. Okay. And 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. Excuse me. Okay. 
Uh, what did you just count ones? Oh no! Oh no! That's eight. Eight what? Just, whoa, whoa, whoa! Eight twos. I mean four twos. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Let's count them. Two, four, six, eight. Oh. Do you want to use ones instead? There's a bag of ones right there. <laughs> oh sure. And now we're subtracting two hundred and forty-three. This is the column where the tens are ones, tens, hundreds. Um, we're going to take away three. This is simple math. So we have five here. We are going to write five right where that is. It's so, such a simple math. We're going to take away four from this. So we're going to take away four. One, two, three, four, forty. Check. And now we're going to take away two. Oh. We, what do we have left? Twenty. So we're going to forget about the zero because we already have a five in that place. So we're going to take away two from three. <coughs> hundred, hundred, a hundred, two hundred. Hundred, hundred. Now that we ha see that we have one, we're going to write it here. And what's our final answer? A hundred and twenty-five. A hundred and twenty-five. These are hundreds. Hundred, hundred. If you see, um, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. That's good. A little, is it okay? See, 3 p.m. Hi. I know you like to climb up on that wall, but can you wait until my aunt's finished her video? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yes, or else C3PO has to go away. Yes.